Okay, so this is the next video in relation to the call center. Um, we'll start with the amount of hours I put in. <laughs> I want to make this very clear that everything I do, I commit to 110%. The call center was no different. What happened was during the day, I would fix PCs. During the day, I would go through all the uh, telephone dialing lists filter through for quality leads etc then in the evenings I would run the, the servers engage with the staff all through the night and I would sleep maybe four hours a day um, unless we get a problem with the servers then I would just wake up and as you can see from this picture that's me sat at my desk with just two of the screens I was working on there was another rack that's out of view which had other PCs running on it and just in the corner you can just see a little bit of red that's actually my bed because I would jump out if there's a problem fix everything on the fly I was I was running myself at least the average day probably about 20 hours during the working week which is why I refuse work for Saturday and Sundays uh, I don't think I would still be here where I work Saturdays and Sundays the new building is quite unique. Um, it's also a little bit funny because while I was out in the Middle East, the owner had reappeared. Bear in mind the place hadn't had any work done to it for about 12 years. So my wife tried to approach the owner, not really interested in selling. I said to my wife, by the end of the year, we will own this building. At the time, my wife, probably thought I was mad because the owner wasn't even going to sell it. You can see from the condition of the building it needed a lot of work. The roof leaked, there was a termite problem and basically it hadn't had any real work done to it in 12 years. So who in their right mind buys a building in this condition? First thing I want to say is Rents for office space may seem cheap at Western prices in comparison, but when you're operating a business, you can see that they're rather expensive. Same as the UK or anywhere else. Uh, if you rent office space, it's normally a premium price. So long term, the building was more viable. Next thing is the property is actually increased in value as soon as I purchased it. Um, I was a cash buyer and if you're a cash buyer you normally get the right price but also because of the location of where we are and Cebu sort of becoming bigger um, one of the things Philippines does have a lot of is population growth and as such Cebu is slowly working its way south and the land that this sits on will be worth a considerable sum in a few years time well in fact it's already increased the value now due to some subdivisions nearby so where do you start on a project like this well the first thing we needed is to make it watertight everything else can sort of follow after that you know normally you do foundations make sure it's watertight etc etc in this case the building had been originally built probably about six foot shorter than it is today the problem was they built the rooms then decided they wanted a bathroom so they then extended on the back and then sort of patched a roof across and for the last X amount of years it's been leaking water inside the building and into the brickwork and out the back because it was never designed basically the roof had run short and then it was sort of extended out and over without adequate gut uh, adequate guttering part two coming up uh, just follow the link